Hi everyone, Angelo here. I am the owner of Bed and Biscuit Pet Resort of Northern Arizona. And today this video is a introduction to a series of videos I'm making called Kennel Tips and Tricks. Now what's motivating me to make this series uh, starts in about the year 2009. When I made a few videos, I put them on YouTube. I wanted to show my family and friends my commercial kennel construction project. Shortly after that, I started getting contacts from around the world, people searching for information on how to build a kennel. And over the years, the amount of people contacting me has grown so much that I can't help everybody. So the idea behind Kennel Tips and Tricks would be to build a library of informative videos that everybody, including myself, can utilize. Most of the people that contact me are in the process of building a commercial dog boarding kennel. They usually have floor plans and sometimes have one or multiple locations that they are looking at to build their kennel. More than likely, they have a vision of how to construct and operate their business. Building a kennel from ground up can be challenging. It all starts with planning and development. Considerations. Finding the right location working with your local government, and making sure that the permits that are granted to you meet your needs. You don't want to build something and later on find out that you can't operate your kennel as you planned. Excavation, dirt work, one of my personal favorite subjects. What kind of soil are you working with? What about water runoff and drainage? Cut and fill for developing roads and terraces. Lot preps, installing utilities, prepping the building site and cutting footings, kennel construction, prepping and pouring concrete, walls and roofing, fabrication, another one of my personal favorites, fabricating gates and custom gates, hinges, latches, brackets, and fence panels. And once you get your kennel built, what about kennel operations? When I hire an employee, I kind of break it down into three categories. Office work, are they capable of working with QuickBooks and Outlook? Customer relations, are they inviting and helpful to the customers? And the last one, working with the dogs. I don't want an employee getting bit, so there's a lot of training involved. Not everybody's project is going to be as extreme, so I want kennel tips and tricks to cover everything from the average pet owner to complicated projects similar to mine. Oh. Wow, after watching all that, uh, brings back a lot of old memories. To think that I was looking for property to build a kennel, and I find this old gold mining claim established in 1864 on a hillside, and with my realtor, uh, we lock it in with contingencies based upon whether I get the use permits or not. Then I spent a year and a half, four board hearings, lots of battles between those board hearings, uh, planning and zoning who is supposed to help you prepare for the board hearings. Uh, the head of the department and second in charge did not like me and did not want another kennel being built. So they were my opposition during the board hearings and their biggest weapon was kennel noise abatement issue. Barking dogs can be heard for miles. But the outcome was the last board hearing, the Board of Supervisors, they said they really liked my kennel plans and if you build it like that, we'll grant you the use permits. Okay, so the big problem was my kennel plans looked really good, but I had so many inventions and modifications into my plans I didn't know if anything was going to work. So it took many years to figure out how to construct everything. Now, all conventional kennels for waste management are based off of some type of gutter system. So for me to go outside the box and invent this waste management box system and then design the whole facility around it, boy, that's a huge risk. Because if that fails, what do I do? rip it up and try to install a gutter system. So that was a lot of stress on me. And I didn't know if anything was going to work until I was up and operational. And I can definitely say today that everything that I incorporated into my facility 
has met my expectations or exceeded my expectations. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to get notifications of future videos. Thank you for watching.